This paper um, is an exciting report in that it's the, the first time that we've been able to look at the potential of human neural stem cells to uh, generate myelin in a, a neurologically symptomatic animal. Um, so myelin, as you know, is the insulation that wraps nerve fibers, so it's absolutely critical for the um, this rapid conduction of nerve impulses of electrical activity between one brain region and another. And so, you know, there's many neurological disorders in which loss of myelin uh, just is devastating um, in terms of its neurological consequences. So, uh, you know, for example, you're probably familiar with multiple sclerosis in adults in which there is uh, the immune system attacks the myelin and, and causes widespread loss of myelin. Cerebral palsy in preterm babies is another well-known cause of, of failure of myelin to form. And so this, this uh, results of ours are exciting in that regard insofar as we're able to now uh, look to the potential to repair myelin loss in, in a number of uh, human disorders. Well, broadly speaking, we're very interested in promoting regeneration and repair of the injured brain, whether that be in children or adults. And so we're looking at various you know, strategies now to see how we can broaden the, the playing field, if you will, in terms of the, dis the disorders that, in which stem cells could be promoted to repair injury. Um, as brain injury becomes more significant in disorders like multiple sclerosis or in cerebral palsy in children, there are other uh, factors that come into play, such as um, molecules that accumulate in the injured brain that prevent repair of the brain. So, you know, we, we know that, the, that there are kind of developmental instructions that tell the brain how to repair itself. And the brain does attempt to make repair after injury, but typically that repair doesn't go all the way because there's roadblocks that, that get set up, if you will, in the course of attempting to do the repair. And so we're interested in identifying some of those roadblocks, those molecules that prevent the brain injury from fully repairing itself. And uh, we've been particularly focused on white matter disorders that involve myelin. And uh, so uh, that's a, an important direction that will enable us to uh, bring this therapy, I think, to a much broader uh, number of affected patients.